The Corsican conflict is an ongoing conflict over the independence and autonomy of Corsica. But before we get to that, a little context on France and Corsica. In 1768, Corsica was an unrecognized state who recently gained independence from Genoa for 14 years until they were invaded by France. Corsica fell to the French after a war that lasted just under a year. It would remain under French control until World War II, when Italy would take the island in November of 1942, but it would be liberated in 1943 by French forces. When the Allied forces left, the island would throw around ideas louder this time, and people started to use the dreaded I-word, independence. The National Liberation Front of Corsica was one of those groups, as they were formed in 1976 and fought for social and economic change, as well as independence from France. Their first report incident was in Bastia, Corsica in 1974, when a bomb went off in the forward landing gear compartment, damaging the plane. While nobody died, it was the start to something more. Over the next three years, they would commit four attacks. A bombing at a government office, a hostage-taking in a plane in Ajaxio, a broadcast relay station in Ajaxio, and finally the first attack in mainland France, a bombing at a railroad station. Over the late 70s, almost 100 more attacks would take place consisting of bombings and arson attacks. On January 13, 1978, several FNLC members bombed a NATO radar station. Attacks continued in the 1980s, as well as protests and hunger strikes. Notoriously, FNLC members started a hunger strike in prison around the same time IRA prisoners in Northern Ireland were, but they would fail. On April 1st, 1981, the 1981 French presidential election occurred with Francois Mitterrand of the Socialist Party winning the election, causing the FNLC to have a temporary ceasefire to see how things went. The ceasefire would last until February 12th of 1982, after a bombing in Corsica. The war would slowly boil with bombing sprees and murders of members of the Corsican Mafia and small-time drug dealers. The year 1990 started, the FNLC started an unofficial truce with the government, which would end in September of that year. The attacks maintained consistency until an offensive by one of the factions, which I'll get to later, when they increased their shooting attacks on policemen, local politicians, and banks. During that offensive, the prefect of Corse de Sud, Claude Ergnac, was killed by two gunmen in Ajaxio. A man named Yvonne Colonna would be arrested for and would be found guilty in 2007. In the 2000s, the FNLC continued their attacks with a bombing at a hotel, a shootout with the French gendarme, a car bombing of the gendarme, and a several more bombings and arson attacks. But due to the murder of Erignac, the FNLC's reputation was severely damaged, slowing down the rate of attacks. But that didn't stop them from bombing a military installation. In 2011, there were 38 bomb attacks in four months. In June of 2014, one of the three main factions called for peace, and the second faction promised it would end paramilitary action in October of 2016. The last faction would continue terrorist acts including firebombings and shootings, but at a much smaller scale than before the other two factions sued for peace. So in 2022, Yvonne Colonna, the assassin from earlier, was killed by a Cameroonian jihadist in prison for allegedly disrespecting Muhammad. The murder would spark mass riots in Corsica on March 9, 2022. Courthouses, banks, police barracks, all were attacked by rioters. The FNLC came back into the light, stating they supported the protesters. On March 21st, Colonna would die of his injuries, causing more and more protests. The riots made an opportunity for Corsica to gain autonomy, but nothing has been pushed forward as of yet. And that is the latest news of the FNLC. Now, I did say I would talk about the FNLC factions later, and well, there are many factions of the group, and no sources I see say which group attacked what, except for certain ways of violence. The FLNC UC, FLNC 1976, FLNC 22 October, FNLC Historic Channel, Corsican Revolutionary Brigade, and the Corsican Farmers Front are the factions, but all remain unlisted in their actions. Despite all that, there have been theories that the FNLC was funded by Libya, as they had used American weaponry in their campaign, but those theories have never been really confirmed. That is the Corsican conflict. I'm sorry for not going that into depth of things, as sources were very limited when it came to the conflict from the 70s to before the recent riots. The recent riots got a lot of coverage, so who knows if we might see a change, or if it's just going to be like Northern Ireland or Basque Country or Catalonia. 
Also, I just wanted to mention I'm not doing face cam that often anymore until I can mas- master like the audio quality in this microphone. It is a good microphone, but it just feels a little too quiet. Like on my editing software, it's at 200%. But maybe it's because of the windsock. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you've not already, and maybe check out some other content on my channel. Good night, everyone. Adios, amigos. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum.